Hello and welcome to this is week 15. Well, week 15 towards the end now, day number four of the uh, real estate investing for beginners course uh, that I offer here to you guys for absolutely free here on YouTube. Uh, and you don't have to pay anything. Most courses out there uh, are, uh, th they don't really offer you uh, things for free pretty much that give you as much value as I'm attempting to give you here. Uh, and so now you have no excuse to not do deals. Uh, not only do, am I offering you this for free, but I want to always partner with you. Uh, whether you are trying to find your first deal, whether you want to, you know, learn how to make phone calls or negotiate, etc. Uh, that's what this course is all about. So we do one thing here that most courses out there that are paid don't do uh, because it's just not sexy to talk about it most of the time. And that is negotiations. We focus very heavily on the negotiation and the structure of the deal so making this content this is long form content uh for free for you guys is i want you to see the thought process behind each and every deal because no two deals are the same they have never been they will they will never be exactly the same you can't even have cookie cutter uh deals because uh, even if you're a developer and you develop every every house uh cookie cutter the same you can't, you can't divide even the land the same, exactly the same. You can't because the land changes, you know? So, so there, no two deals will ever be the same. And so because of that problem, I'm attempting to solve it as much as possible by just allowing you to practice with me. So just if you hang out with me, pretend you're in the truck and we're going to go see properties and, and so forth. Uh, and you're just hanging out at my office as well. And you're just kind of seeing, you know, looking over my shoulder, how we're structuring the deals. So I'm not making any PowerPoint presentations or keynote presentations or, or screen share. So you can see, you know, what I'm doing uh, on the screen. Uh, be, that is on purpose and is for a reason is I just want you to kind of help me think through these deals. And you and I are doing this together. Like I am pretty much going to, okay, I have a potential seller. I need to structure it a certain way. What can we do? How can we, can we, you know, do the acquisitions and how do we do the dispositions? So how do we get it? How do we dispo it? Do we keep it? Do we flip it? That type of, men, that type of mindset we go through with every single deal because they're all different. So the idea here is that you see that and you get practice, practice, practice. So you, you, the more you see the structure of deals, the more you will start picking up certain things that are very similar to every deal. Uh, and, and that's why I, I see a big flaw in the course space and everybody's doing the same thing because they just give you a step-by-step when in real estate, you can't really do that. You can't really have a step-by-step. -step. And, and I know everybody does it. I don't understand why they do it. The best way to learn real estate is just to get familiar with negotiating the deal and structuring the deal and then taking the ingredients of those negotiations and those structures. And now that you know certain things, then you know the next deal, you, you know where to put those different things. But they're never step-by-step. And the problem with that is as soon as you, uh, as, as one step doesn't match what the course from somebody else is teaching you, then you, then, then you get stuck and you don't know what to do. And then you, you get frustrated. And then, you know, that's why courses out there, you know, people spend a lot of time and money on courses and they don't end up doing anything. So that's why I decided to do that. And I give you at least, you know, five to 10 videos every single week. And we're doing this for an entire year so that you learn how, you know, each deal can get structured. You don't have to watch every single video. I would encourage you to do that. 
but you will get the sense as to how we're thinking about each deal, but because I talk about it, okay, this deal, we need to structure it this way. Okay, this deal, we need to say this, this deal, we need to, you know, find this. There are certain things that are the same basics that you're like, okay, well, that is very intuitive. So I'm sure I could do that, no problem. So what's the value? Well, the value is you need to see how those, those little things that are the same for every deal you need to see how we are structuring them within every single deal such as are we going to to buy it and and keep it or are we going to buy it and flip it are we going to wholesale it are we going to flip the contract right so or are we going to do an ovation agreement are we going to do a jv a joint venture with the with the homeowner are we going to you know, put a lien on the property so that we can work on it and then get a lease so that we can work on it and then sort of flip it with, 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 with um, the financing that's already in place, et cetera. Are we going to try to buy it using creative strategies, which is what I love, you know, because I don't like to go get qualified for loans if I don't have to. So all of those things, you just need, according to the situation here, we we'll give you example after example how we do that. That's what really teaches you how to do do uh, do real estate and get the mindset of uh, of uh, becoming a a uh, deal engineer. Uh, so it's that 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 term is not exaggerated. It does take a lot of skill on how to make a deal work a lot of people who are veterans in the industry and i hear them all the time because i'm part of masterminds and stuff people that know a lot more than me uh none of them probably you know, you've heard that they don't they don't make youtube content or anything like that so they call themselves you know or they say things like you don't find a deal you make a deal and for a long time, I disagreed with that. And to some degree, I still disagree with it. But I can see what they mean, which is, you know, if, if you have a motivated seller and it doesn't fit the cookie cutter one, two, three, four steps that you see in most courses, then most people assume it's not a deal. And that's where we find the opportunity. So with that being said, what I would encourage you to do now is to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And now with that, we're going to get into calling so you can start seeing how we talk to these people and how we, these motivate sellers and how we try to, we attempt to structure each deal. All right. So with that being said, let's, let's talk about the two things that we need to see from every deal. I need to see how. It, how uh, how much the property would be worth once it's fixed up if we're gonna flip it, you know, and 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 wholesalers need to know that because your cash buyer is probably gonna be a flipper, okay, uh, and uh, we need to see the value of it if we were going to keep it. So either we keep it or our cash buyer keeps it. So we have cash buyers that buy and flip, and then we have cash buyers that buy and hold. And we need to give them guidance as to what that value is if they're going to flip it and what that value is if they're going to keep it. Now, you can do both. You can be a cash buyer. You can be a cash buyer that buys and flips, and you can be a cash buyer that buys and keeps. But at the end of the day, not every, every deal is going to fit your portfolio. You're not going to keep every deal. It's impossible. So, so that's why most buy and hold investors and, or buy and flip investors and buy and keep investors, they are also wholesalers because they, want, they spent money on marketing and so they want to flip those. So every deal before every phone call, you will see me analyzing based on either buy and flip value and buy and keep value, all right, if we're going to cash flow it. That being said, let's get into it. And again, welcome to the uh, week 15, day number four of the Real Estate Investing for Beginners course, all for free here on YouTube. Let's get started right now, and let's make our first phone call here. Let's start by analyzing it. And 
this deal here is in uh, North Miami. Uh, I love this. I love this because uh, uh, I love the area for some reason. It's uh, it's that's one of the areas that really excites me. So Orlando excites me a lot. Jacksonville and North Miami. So let's see here. I'm taking a look at the notes. I'm pulling up the notes now. Just give me a second, you guys. Okay. And uh, so let, I'm looking at the notes here. The, the first thing I'm looking for, obviously, is I want to know the value of it. And I don't think we are... We have uh, done the an analyzing here. So I'm going to go and quickly put it on, on Privy just so I can get an idea what flippers are doing in the area. I, I love Privy, you guys. I will, you know, these guys are not going to pay me to to um, uh, to promote them but uh, I'm because uh, I you know I just want to tell you the, the tools that I use. So I had to log in real quick and now I'm going to to go um, privy and paste it and, <clears throat> and see this uh, North Miami property. Okay, on here, it says that it expired. It's an expired listing, so they've been trying to sell it for a while. And the range here is from 532 to 719. And they're trying to sell it for a million and a half. <laughs> now that that right there, every deal is different. That right there is just crazy, crazy. I, I'm trying to think right now what we can do to structure that, how we can give, give them something that they'll agree to but it's not looking too good. Confidence four. Okay, so now let me look, look at, uh, look at Zillow and see about the rents. It's a million and a half, it's pending. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see here. I'm going to call them. Let's see. So on, on uh, Zillow, I cannot see the... Um, I can't see the the rent because it's uh, it's listed on the market. So now I'm 
check into location now, kind of take a look at the neighborhood. Okay. All right, yeah, I know the area. Okay. Biscayne Park. Okay. All right, so let me call and see. <clears throat> One last thing I have to figure out who I'm talking to. See, this is why you can't, you can't have steps because I need you to see the logic behind everything. And I promise you this, if, if you keep watching these videos, you will pick up the logic and, and the way to go about things. And it will, you will develop that, that mental muscle, which is what we're trying to work out. That's why these videos are so long, because I'm trying to help you develop that, that, that mental muscle that just allows you to pick up that weight, whatever weight, and you can pretty much work with it. So uh, Odell, is, Odell is her name. It's the only person I see here. Okay. Now let's see if Adele is. Let me pop this into. So Batch Leads tells me that their estimated is 767. Let's see what PropStream says. I'm going to go and see what realer.com says. I'm going to go and see what. Uh, Redfin says, and then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So prop stream says uh, 731, realtor.com says 826, that's very high. Redfin says 1.2, that's probably what they're trying to, to do here because it's very overpriced in my opinion. So let's see. So let's call. Now I've given you the mindset, extremely overpriced. Now let's let's figure out why she thinks it's worth that much. See, every deal is different. I can't just give you step by step. How can I do that? But I'm, I'm not a guru. I, I will tell you that right now. I am not a guru. I just see these gurus and I'm like, hmm. That doesn't make sense. Hello. Hello. Good morning, Adele. Is how's it going? This is Ben. <laughs> this is Ben. Ben. Hi, Ben. How can I help you? Yes, I was uh, calling you back about. Uh, I, we had a meeting this morning uh, on your property on uh, Northeast Third Court. No, I, I, I am not in town. Oh. You're yeah, well, it was just a phone, a phone appointment. Uh, you, sp oh, yeah, you, sp yeah, you spoke to uh, to one of our associates here. Uh, her name is Lynn, and uh, she said uh, your property is on the market. I checked it out and stuff, uh, and uh, wanted to see what uh, you could do. Uh, I think she asked you uh, how much you wanted, and you said uh, one point three. And it's in the market for one point five. 
Yeah, that's correct. I checked it out. I checked it out at 1.5. Uh, but uh, the lease you can take, you indicated was 1.3, correct? 1.35. 1.35. Okay, let me make a note here. 1. But that's like a cash offer, like a, not like a... Mm -hmm. okay, are you an investor? Uh, I am an investor, but I don't work for an investment company. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, Sorry, I, I am. I'm trying to to recap what I speak. What was the question again? Uh, who is the person that I speak to that you told me? Yeah, her name is Lynn. You spoke to Lynn uh, on the sixth, I believe, uh, just just about three days ago. Okay, I speak with so many people. I I understand. <laughs> any schedule appointment or anything for that I, I'm like uh, trying to, to because I normally you know put it on the on my schedule and I send the, mm -hmm. uh, the invite of the meeting oh uh, yeah um, yeah what do you do for a living you sound like you're very organized I do events you do events no kidding yeah. okay so so that is that is absolutely something that I I've always wondered because uh, I like going to events and uh, especially, you know, real estate inv events and stuff like that. So what kind of events do you run? I do travel events, uh, corporate events, like mm -hmm. travel weddings. Got it. Got it. So a lot of people coming into town, probably? Yeah, I'm, I'm relocating to California, most likely. But... Oh, okay. Okay, so you're re relocating. <laughs> okay, what, you don't like Florida anymore? <laughs> no, I love Florida, but my business most likely is in, in, in Cali. Got you. Are you from California? I'm from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Oh, wow. No kidding. I, uh, we, have a, we have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of connections, uh, people that uh, I know are from Puerto Rico. Especially right. a lot of people move here to Florida from Puerto Rico and stuff. So, okay. That makes sense. So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. 1.35, is that the best you can do? Yes. The thing is that I have, a, I have an appraisal on January 2020 when I uh, refinanced my property. Mm -hmm. And the property wasn't completed, the renovation and everything. By January 2020, it's 1.2. The appraisal after that, I do all the renovation, all the, the things on the house. Okay. Okay, so so the last appraisal was was July, you said. June, uh, January, January twenty twenty. So January twenty twenty, you got an appraisal. Okay, is there is there a way that you can send me that appraisal? I'd I'd love to take a look at it. Would that be okay? Uh, for what kind of thing? I just want to see how uh, the appraiser appraised the house because, you know, we're really interested and, uh, you know, so just kind of want to see. Because when I was looking at the comps, because I did that before I called you, I could not find uh, comps to justify 1.5, uh, which is what I saw posted. And I'm like, man, because I knew that. I knew that this it was. Is a first... double lot, this is a double lot property, water, uh, front property. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure, no problem. Yeah, I saw that. You have a nice, beautiful dock. You even built some uh, a water slide. <laughs> I saw the water slide. I'm like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you have I kids? Have yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'd be, uh, let me ask you this other question. Um, or, uh, have a lot of people come through and, and do you have any offers on the table right now? Taking a look at the house, anything like that? What's the, uh, what's the traffic that you're yes, doing? I'm, I'm, I'm back, you know, on Monday and I have like a full scale of showing. Of showings. I understand. Okay. Okay. You're in California, I assume right now. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. Okay, I'll I tell you. Go ahead. You just woke up. I'm sorry. I, I woke you up then. I have my coffee in my hands over that. You hear me like a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. I, I'm sorry. I woke you up. What time is it there? It's like seven. No, 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 no. no. I, I, 
I would wake up already because I, I have clients. Yeah. Meetings and things. Very no problem. In other parts of the world. So. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, when you come back, I am actually here in the area. I, I am about, uh, uh, I would say, two miles from you. So what we could do right. is why don't we plan on after you come back, uh, I'll give you a call next week, and then we can okay. plan on meeting and kind of kind of taking a look. Would that be okay? Okay. Okay. I can also uh, take a look if I have in my email uh, the appraisal. If you send me your information uh, by text. Okay. Uh, when I get in my office, I can try to look if I have the appraisal on my email. Uh, in the office, and I can send it over for you to review it. Sounds perfect. I really appreciate that. So yeah, I'll go ahead and after we hang up, I'll go ahead and text you my my email address, and uh, I would appreciate that. All right. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Well, you have a good day. Uh, I am glad to. I'm happy to be of service uh, as your as your uh, morning alarm. <laughs> so, so you, <laughs> so you have a good day, and uh, we'll be talking soon. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Bye bye. <laughs> that was funny. I always try to throw in like a joke. I, I'm not good at that, but it's practice for me. So, let me send her. Uh, my email. So I will go. Um, just going to copy it, copy paste. All right. Uh, so this is, I'm, I'm using RE simply. They call you re simply. <laughs> the, the the people that invented this thing. That doesn't make sense to me. Re simply. R E is because most people in the industry is R E I this, R E I that, and so this is R E simply. Little complaint there. If they ever watch this, and you know, I promote all the tools that I use, they should send me a check. All right, great. Speaking with you this morning. Here's my email. Okay, that is the best one opening, uh, one liner opening that I've ever been able to. And I've tried a lot. I've tried a lot. Like, hello, you know, my name is Ben. As soon as you say that, hello, my name is Ben, people think, okay, what do they want? What kind of sales call is this? That's like, when you say, hello, my name is Ben, by the time it comes out and it lands on their ear, it sounds something like this. I am calling you to sell you something and harass you over the phone. That's how it sounds to them. So that's why I don't say it. Hello, my name is Ben. I don't do that. And I recommend you guys don't do that. So. All right, so uh, she will, she is in California, she has a very old appraisal when the market was hot. So this is me structuring the deal now. Okay, so I'm walking you through that. Let me go and see again how long this property has been on the, the market. 
Oh, it's only two days. Wow, two days on Zillow. Whoa, okay, it's not bad. She says that she has a ton of showings. Showings and once she is back from Cali, will fulfill those meetings. She does event. Etc. Yeah, that's one thing. I'm not just looking for people to to sell me their house. I'm looking to network. I'm looking to network. So these calls, these these um, long form uh, videos I'm making for you guys here on YouTube, it's I'm always trying to, to network. So now I know somebody who does event planning. One of the keys in real estate is to network with a lot of people who want to allocate some money into real estate. So this, this is a perfect angle. <clears throat> That's why you guys are here. And by the way, if you don't want to make all these calls, uh, then uh, I recommend um, reaching out to me and you know, please, please, please do because you can do our deals. We can JV on deals. So that's the main purpose of these videos. And I, I am unashamed that I am trying to recruit you to work with me either as a partner, a JV partner, uh, a buyer. We have a ton of deals. So, so if you're a buyer, if you're buying properties, uh, not, not just wholesale properties, but sub, sub, subject to creative finance properties, whether it's residential, or commercial, uh, you let me know because that's the purpose of this video. And like I said, I am not ashamed to put that put that out there. Um, so, if you want um, your money working for you while you're sleeping, also let me know. Okay, so because we could do that as well. Uh, so there we go. <clears throat> Okay, perfect. And with that lead, uh, how come this? Contact me. Okay. It went into a different bucket here. I don't know why. Okay, so now I just uh, put it in the right spot. Okay, let's see this one here. Next. So that's what we do all day. We just dial all day. We find investments for ourselves, for our partners, for you guys for our investment group uh so we uh that's what i do that's that's why i make these videos and i call all the time somebody's asking for twenty three thousand. okay where is this all right let me see
Okay, so they want 23, that's all on Zillow. It's a price cut of $12,000, oh wow. The HOA is 443. Let me see where it is. Okay. Okay, so let me look at the, comps here. I'm gonna take this and put it on uh, on privy and see what we get. Okay. There's a seller that wants to sell. Okay, so let's see if uh, I got, I just got a, re a response from a cold campaign. A seller. So let's see if they'll, they will respond. Hmm. Can't find this one here. Okay, so here's one of those properties that I can't find anywhere. I'm typing it on prop stream and batch leads now. Let's see. Nope. No 
no data. Okay, well, let's see. In that case, see, this is why everything is unique. So I got to figure out what the rents are in the area. So I could do that by asking him when I call. Duden, Duden. Most people don't like making phone calls, but I, I love it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so no answer with him. All right, next appointment here. Okay, so next one is Okay, let me see why.
Okay. All right, so this next property is in Lake Wales, Florida. So let me see how far that is. That's in Winter Haven. Area. So his asking price is 110,000. So let's see what the resale price would be. Oh, he just bought it. It's a mobile home, just bought it last year, 110. So he wants to make like 40 grand. Okay. She just got a text back from the seller. Okay. We'll see. We'll see if uh, if we can get a deal with that one. By the way, if you're watching this and you have an IRA, 401k, you know, some something that you just have somewhere stacked away and you're not using, just waiting for you to tap into it from retirement. You let's put that thing to work uh, because you can make money on that. You know, so let's put it at work. You let me know. I'm going to start making more content, you know, uh, after this, this uh, training about, uh, you know, your IRA and stuff. This channel is going to turn more into IRA uh, strategies. So IRA strategy, self-directed IRAs, 401ks, and, and just how to use retirement accounts as a strategy to, as strategies to, to advance your real estate career. So if you, if you like that, comment below because I'm going to be turning this channel primarily towards that. Uh, of course, we'll talk about a lot of uh, real estate stuff outside of IRAs. The bulk of the, the content is going to be not related to, to that, but anything I do, Anything that you see here, we can do with an IRA. So uh, I say the uh, the fastest way, and I'm going to write it down so I can put it in in, in the in the notes here. But uh, the fastest way to a deal is to use your IRA. I'll put it here. or to start in
real estate is using your retirement. So the fastest way to a deal or the fastest way to start in real estate is using your retirement account. That's the fastest way, hands down, guaranteed, period, end of story. It's, it's such a powerful tool because it allows you to do deals. Uh, to part, The only way to do that if you're getting started is to partner with people like me. So, you know, you, you, you allow somebody, a provider, a deal provider like me to partner on deals with you and it all happens inside of your IRA because that IRA is a separate entity from you. So that's a great tool. Make sure you make sure you utilize that to, to its full advantage. So So this is a mobile home. He's asking around 110. And uh, I don't see that. <laughs> All right. But we'll give it to him if, if he gives us the terms that we want. Let's see. Seventeen hundred dollars a month in rent. That is that is nice. You can make a lot of money with mobile homes because most people don't don't target them. Monthly rent here on PropStream is 14. <sighs> All right. So let me call. So, speak Spanish.
Okay. Next appointment. So that was him. Next appointment here is uh, Hayden. So this one, no, no answer, I will try it later. Totally renovated, okay, well. So I need to know where the mortgage is here. On this particular one, it's on the market. We spoke to him. I want to know where his mortgage is so that maybe we can structure something from that perspective because he's asking way too much above market that it's impossible to do that. Cash. So cash offer we can't really do, but we can give him what he wants if he'll give us our terms. Hayden, okay, let's see here. Loan, ooh, he has no loan on it. So let me just call and ask. Okay. Let me just check the uh, the range here. Seven fifteen. To seven fifty nine. So he has it for seven twenty five. It's priced correctly, to be honest, but it's just sitting there. Average ARV is 729. Oh yeah, I spoke to this guy here before asking 750 non-negotiable. So he came down and Zillow used to be at 801. Now it's come down. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know who they are. I think I know who they are. She was yelling at the kids. She hung up. Try later. That's right. Okay, so I'm just uh, reading the notes and I'm not going to read you the whole thing. Uh, just suffice it to say. Seven twenty five, no less. Hello, who is that? My name is David Mitrain. I just wanted to ask you to just put the place a little bit further into our selling located on Galeria Street, right? Yes, okay. I just wanted to ask for things about the condition. Is there anything that you can? No, it's 
perfect. Including the, the heated pool, there's um, storm windows, the impact glass windows that cost me $55,000 to put in. There's four new bathrooms. The powder room is new. Everything is new. It's the most amazing property. <sighs> We could come to an agreement on set price. How soon are you looking to sell this property? Uh, like any time. Okay. Do you know, do you have to list it with an agent or is it listed by yourself? No, it's listed with an agent. Alright. You tell me, Miss Hayden, when could be the right day and time for calling back to see if we could come to an agreement with you and forward? Well, you can't as much. You have to wait. I do. You, are you an agent or are you a buyer? No, we're a buyer. This is a small group of private investors. Okay, but this is it's a gated community. I hope you know that. Okay. And as far as a group of private investors, I mean, the market is going down. It's not going up, and it's not like you fixed it up to resell because it's all been completely fixed up. I put my life savings into it and then my stupid boyfriend three months into the has a heart attack and can't go up the stairs because he's in now he has so I have to get something with a downstairs bedroom and I'm so mad because I put in so much money to make this the perfect house for us to retire in and mm -hmm. now we can't go up and down the stairs. It's a beautiful plot and we have a big driveway. Oh, and it's in a cul-de-sac, and it's on a private bird sanctuary. We sell the birds and the ducks. It's got an upstairs balcony. Everything is done. Just put in the garage doors, you know, the hinge and the the electronic, uh, the motor, brand new. I just did the air conditioning. The really good maintenance cost me twelve hundred dollars. Just everything, everything is just perfect. It's a perfect, it's so unique, it's so perfect. But if you want to see it, you need to call my realtor and go see it ASAP because she has a big open house for the weekend and there's a lot of people interested. But if you're interested in buying it to flip it as an investment, the market's going down. You're not going to use it as an, it won't be a good investment. I mean, I'm being very frank. Uh, because, um, you know, you, it's, it's for someone to live in and feel peaceful and, you know, it's all clean and nice and it's, I put in a closet, a big walk-in closet, and I put in all the bathrooms, oh my God, it's, it's just beautiful. Oh my God. I, I thought I was going to live there for the rest of my life and what, what three or four months later. He has this problem with his heart, and he does. He can't go up the downstairs. He doesn't want me to sell it. He's like, no, no, I can go up the stairs. He goes up, and it's, it's and he sits up there for the day. He can't go up the stairs. So I need a different house. So I moved out. The house is empty. It can be sold tomorrow, but it will be sold quickly because we have people now having second and third showing. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you want it as an investment or not. Um, you can rent it out. I think you have to own it for six months before you can rent it out. You can't just buy it and rent it out tomorrow like a house because it's a gated community. Oh, and the gated community has a huge pool. But then it has a gym. It has a room with pool, a pool room, a billiards room. It has all the you know, all the fancy amenities, and it, it's a gay house. So, it's very safe after I put in hurricane glass. It's very safe. People don't lock their doors. Anyway, if you want to see it, I can give you my broker's number. She'll show it to you. But if you're looking for an investment to pick up and flip, you... Pardon me? Give me your, your agent's number. Um, just 
Well, I have a contract with her. There's no way. But, well, actually, I can... Yeah, actually, if I find a buyer, then she, I give her less of a commission. That is true, because I asked her about that. I said, what if I find someone? She said, then you give me less of a commission. So, yeah, actually, I could probably show it, but I need to show it quickly. Because yeah, yeah. there's lots of interest. Well, if you're going to take a look at the house, you really should do it in the next day or two. Where? Okay, so that, that took a while. That's nice. So let me give her a call. She's It's, it's vacant, so that's great. Hey, hello, Hayden. This is Ben. How you doing? Ben. Yes, we were chatting about your house. You were uh, telling me about uh, yeah. You have it listed, and uh, you know your 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 boyfriend, and you moved out because of the situation with yeah, him. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so how you doing today? It, it... Really crazed. <laughs> oh man, what's happening? I, I can't talk. Is there something you want to say? Well, I wanted to to pretty much ask you uh, how the showings went. I know you were having some showings over the last week. Uh, we have we had two offers, um, full ask offers, and so we're going to accept one of them today. Okay. Oh. Okay. Told you they were going very well. Thank you. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. Okay. So. I will check because I, I, I don't know if that's true. I will check back later. She said. Now they have two more offers. And accepting. Okay. All right. So that's all the appointments I have for today. So now we circle back now and we start calling people who are in our different in our different uh, areas of our funnel here, different stages. Mm. Okay. okay. Let's call Cleveland here.
Let's see if this property has sold. No, nope. okay, Cleveland, okay, it's like a duplex. First, here's to disclose. Value 140,000. Okay, let's see if we get a hold of him. Um, let's see. Please uh, leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Oh, Thank man. you. Okay, so we got a, I think we got a text message back here. Let's see. Come on, come on. Yeah. No. So he said, I can't take the call right now, no problem. Try and hear you back. Okay, perfect. So I made contact. So I switch into the contact made tab, period. The key here is to Got to work with the CRM. Got to do it. Okay. All right, next. She has private buyers interested in property that are paying 50k at the moment i gave her okay so this is a cash buyer i gave her 30 max she said she, that we can do a walkthrough or she some pictures and email me Okay, so she hasn't sold it. Let's see. She's an investor, so let's see. She's in Ohio. Smile.
Nothing. No answer. We'll try later. This is in Ohio. Sold for seventy two thousand. Let's see what they wanted. Value forty six, and they sold it for seventy two. Wow. Cash off offer close for one hundred and fifty one. But we have to be at a hundred thousand dollar mark. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a condo. And what's it supposed to be? Uh, it hasn't sold. So. Okay, nice. Okay, so where is this? Let's see. Uh, West Palm, okay. Confidence is three.
Nothing. Please leave your message for David Uribe. No answer, but got the right voicemail. All right, no answer. Let me try it. Okay. Let's get the next call here. Okay. So this next property here, I haven't spoken to them. This estimate is uh, 472 Redfin Realtor. Uh, it's 510 Realtor 388. Let me see here. So I'd want to be at like 400,000. <laughs> so. Quickly read the situation here. Doesn't have a chance to, okay, hung up very quickly. You can sell it as soon as possible. 500,000 and he's negotiable. So we have to buy, buy it for around 400,000, but he wants 500. Let's see, we can do. Property is rented at 30. 300, okay. We haven't been able to speak to him, so. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. No answer again. Dallas. He is in attempt at contact. Okay. Okay, no answer again. Hello, you 
Okay, so we got his voicemail before. But we haven't spoken to him before. So currently rented for 2200 to 2300 a month. Want to sell. It's an investment property, so he can sell at any time. He doesn't know the property's worth. Okay. So he's an investor. Okay. You reach the voicemail at Record. Leave a message and you're again. So, I answer it again. Okay. So next one here, can't, we tried calling, no answer, no answer. Um, so we have to buy it for around 400,000 or less. So maybe 385, according to realtor.com. Uh, the property is in good condition, no repairs needed. Uh, they'll be able to decide soon. He hasn't thought about selling the house. However, he will entertain an offer. Okay. Let's see here. Asim. His name is Asim. Your call has been forwarded mm. to an automatic voice message nothing I answer again okay all right so we had the the best calls at the beginning of this session. So what we'll do is we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna go take a break and then come back. And then we're gonna do it again because that's how we do. We just look for deals all day long, all day long. That's what makes us successful. Work with our CRM, analyze deals, send offers, all that good stuff. See you on the next uh, video. Like, subscribe. See you back soon.